Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading. If you are new here and don't want to miss the daily tarot readings, you can subscribe now by clicking the red button below this video. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. At the end of this video, if you are interested, I will also record and extend it to know more specific details on their feelings and intentions for you at this moment. Now let's start with your reading. And uh, I will start with what happened in the past and why it all happened. Then at the end of this video, there are possible actions towards you, if any, for the time frame of this reading. So let's travel four times. So let's see what happened in the past. It was a very painful ending. Someone may have played games there or had a big ego and wanted to be in the connection just for the attention, for the compliments. But the ending was very hurtful and painful. It was not easy at all. Let's see about the current energies. It is very interesting because your wish is still to be with them in a commitment with them, in a serious connection. You want to feel happy again and with this person, with this person that may that maybe hurt you in the past, that maybe dis destroyed your trust in the connection, but your feelings are deep and powerful and real. That's why you may want to be in that connection again. And what is affecting this... Uh, what is affecting you in your subconscious that you may not be aware of is the fact that you may have been in a marriage with them and then there was this divorce. If not, this connection had potential to be a long-lasting, happy relationship. At least that's how it was viewed from the outside. But uh, it was not successful. And uh, you had big dreams there. But that connection relationship didn't last long and made you very unhappy now how do you view the situation you are expecting an apology from them or you want to hear a message from this person with a page of cups or may even want to have a restart there because the feelings that you have for them are, are still there you want to reconnect and reconcile make peace out of all those dramas that were present in the relationship, your focus is for having a restart there, giving another chance to the connection, and your hope is to see that connection victorious and successful again. Let's see what is happening with, with them. They are being very cold and detached with the Queen of Swords. Seems like uh, they are not interested, at least this is the image they are portraying or giving. But let's see, why the Queen of Swords for them? Knight of Swords. They have always wanted to talk, but they have seen you guarded, or hurt, or not trusting the, conne the connection as much. They are focusing on their work, their career. I think they were deeply in love, or very attracted towards you previously. And now they are acting very cold and detached. The second story I'm getting is that uh, they may not be trusting enough the fact uh, if the connection would be stable and if the love would be uh, present or as powerful as before. Let's see, will they take any actions? The Hermit card. Just just thinking, meditating, reflecting, and not doing anything. So I don't see or don't expect them to take action, at least for the time frame of this reading. The Hierophant. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. 
and the Knight of Wands at the bottom is Knight of Swords. Yes, they want to talk or what they are thinking is they have passion, they want to talk. Is it worth it moving the connection to the next important step, making it formal, making it serious? Or maybe there's no point in trying or messaging. Maybe the friendship is lost, is not there. It seems like they want the friendship as well. They want to be in a, in a strong connection where there's friendship and there's love. And there's a teamwork there. It seems like they're a bit insecure about the stability of the connection and the consistency as well. That's why they may be postponing the communication. The second story I'm getting, so take what resonates, is that they may be already in a formal connection with another person. That's why they are uh, not talking and uh, despite them having passion still for the connection. So this is the second story, so take what resonates. I will continue this reading in the extended for more details about their feelings. How do they view you? What are their intentions and the energies of the connection at this moment? If you want to watch the extended of this video, you can find it now in the description box below. See you in the next reading and bye for now.